Hello my YouTube friends, it's me, your old buddy Magnum, over here at Magnum Videos. We're going to do a relatively short video this evening about pulling focus. Now, if you've been watching my other videos, you know that this is kind of a series on videography techniques. Uh, we did one on camera angles, camera moves, uh, multi-camera positions, etc. Tonight we're going to do one about pulling focus. Now, if you're doing a video on pulling focus, the first thing you need to do is put your camera in manual mode. And then you'll use the focus ring to adjust it. We're going to set this up with a Magnum Videos coffee mug. Now, I currently have the camera in autofocus mode, so when I show you this mug, it's probably going to focus on the mug. Like a soap and then it should be focused back on my face again. Now, we're going to also have the mug and a Canon lens. See how that works with the automatic mode? You're going to be doing it manually though because you can do it slower and you can control it. So, let me show you how we've got it set up. So, stick around. Now, as you can see, I have a Canon lens set up on the desk right there. And I also have a Magnum Videos coffee mug right there. Now, we have, excuse me while I move the camera, we have the 70D set up over here. And we are going to focus on the coffee mug and then we're going to obviously we're going to be in manual focus and then we're going to move the focus to uh, get the Canon lens in focus and uh, I'll go ahead and film that and then I'll show you how it looks so stick around Okay, that's really all there is to it. The only thing that you need to do is get that camera out of autofocus mode so that you can use the, the focus ring on it. And uh, you can use that in your videos to, uh, if you've got a scene where the camera starts filming on an object that, on an object that is uh, slightly distant and there's something in the foreground that's blurred out, you can pull focus and bring that foreground object into crystal clear focus and blur out the object behind just to draw the viewer's attention to that particular thing. Okay? So that's it. Uh, leave a comment if you have a question, leave that as well. Um, I did use uh, my Canon 50mm prime lens on this. It has a very uh, shallow depth of field capability. Uh, with the f1.8 aperture so uh, that's very helpful if you're wanting to do some focus pulling uh, so i think that's it until i speak with you again and even after that you stay focused